He was a decorated sergeant in the U.S. Army who ended up under arrest for DWI. But while in custody, something terrible happened. He had a meltdown and was cuffed and surrounded by cops. After he repeatedly told the officers he couldn't breathe, he ended up losing his life. And now his family wants answers. And we should warn you, the video you're about to see is disturbing. I cannot breathe. Handcuffed and surrounded by cops in riot gear, an Please. inmate struggles to breathe. I need water. The man in custody is a U.S. Army sergeant, and in just a few hours, he will be dead. The official report states that he died of natural causes, but his family says it's yet another example of police misconduct caught on tape. They are standing there watching him die. Sergeant James Brown's mother, Donetta, says her son was a decorated veteran who served two tours in Iraq but returned home with post-traumatic stress disorder. Two years ago, he was pulled over for a DWI in El Paso, Texas in order to serve two days in the county jail. He had a five-year-old girl with his wife, Rachel. What could possibly happen? He's going to stare at a wall for two days and then get out and be done with this. But it didn't turn out that way. This video shows Brown freaking out in his cell just 24 hours into his confinement. For some reason, he threw wet toilet paper at the glass door. His family believes his PTSD triggered a panic attack. Five officers in riot gear subdued Brown, pinning him to the floor as they shackled his hands and feet. He tells them over and over that he can't breathe. They lift him over their shoulders and haul him off to the infirmary. Oh, my arm. Where they handcuff him to a chair and put an anti-spitting mask over his face. We showed the video to Dr. Roshini Raj, associate professor of medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center in New York. This shows that he's really starting to fail, that he's not able to breathe well enough. Uh, even his breaths are becoming more shallow, meaning he's pretty much his body is giving out at this point. Sergeant hey, Brown complains that hey, the off. mask is restricting oh, his breathing. Dude, please take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Please take the mask off. I cannot breathe. Please. I heard him saying, please, please. To me, that's saying he was begging for help. He was begging for his life. Ten minutes later, he is unresponsive. His breathing reduced to gasps. 911 is notified and Brown is rushed to a hospital. He never regained consciousness. According to the autopsy report, Sergeant Brown died from a sickle cell crisis, a rare blood disorder triggered by strenuous physical activity while being subdued. The sheriff's department is calling Brown's death an unfortunate tragedy. A thorough review of the facts determined that his death was caused by a pre-existing medical condition. The question now is, could more have been done to help this soldier? These are people that he just fought for and they're treating him like this. He was begging, he was pleading for them to do something and they did absolutely nothing. I cannot breathe. The family of Sergeant Brown has filed a wrongful death suit.